Hi, I hope uh, everything's going well. We're in the seventh week, and um, I thought I would go backwards. It seems like I'm probably a little bit ahead of everybody, so my video will um, be uh, the end of last week's lecture. Um, it's about an exponential random variable. We did a uniform and a normal, and then this is the exponential. It has some nice properties. It's a very, uh, has a nice density function with just one parameter, lambda. So it's easy to integrate, easy to deal with, but um, it also has this property called the memoryless property. And um, that will pretty much come up in this first problem. Um, the time between the first and second heart attacks for a certain group of people is exponential. So uh, x, I'll let x equal time between heart attacks and x is exponential and we don't know it doesn't tell us what the parameter is so we'll just put lambda in here I'm not, I'm not sure what lambda is 50% um, of those who have had a heart attack will have another one in the next five years so probability X is less than or equal to five years is equal to 50% um, what's the probability of the person who had one heart attack five years ago will not have another one in the next five years. So no matter what time we start at, um, when you look at an exponential, as it's, it's, it's as if you're starting brand new. So whether this person, if we just look at this person brand new right now, we're asking, what's the probability? It's been, again, they had one heart attack. What's the probability? they're not going to have another one in the next five years which means what's the probability x is greater than five now so um, no matter when you start I mean even if we looked at them in two years and they haven't had a heart attack and we say what's the probability it's going to be another five years um, that's it, it doesn't matter when we started so the probability x is greater than five is equal to one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 5, which is just 50%. So really there's there's not much to do in this problem except to realize that the memoryless property is going on for the exponential. So um, we had one five years ago, we'll have to, yeah, so even though they had one five years ago, um, what's the probability we're going to have to wait another five years? Um, we're just asking what's the probability x is greater than 5. And we know this nice property up here about x because we were told um, in the problem. So that's the first one. I took that from the um, exercises in the textbook. Here's another one from the textbook. I changed a little bit because they just had, um, they didn't have numbers, they just had um, constants. And the first time you see an exponential example, it's, it's hard enough just to gather what's going on. So. And also there's that nice relationship between an exponential and a Poisson that I can show you in this problem. Um, suppose that at an Italian restaurant, the time t in minutes between customers ordering is exponential. So t equals time between orders. And t is uh, exponential with a lambda of one third. And the reason I know this is because um, the expected value of t is equal to 1 over um, lambda. Or if I know lambda, then I know the expected value is 1 over that. So it has that nice relationship there. Um, so let me see. f of t, if I want to build a density function, is lambda, so 1 third times exp to the negative t over 3 and this is valid for t is bigger than 0. Okay, so there's my function. Um, if I want to find what's the probability of time is more than 2 minutes, less than 1 minute, whatever I want to find, there's my density function that I would integrate. So let's highlight that. Let's look at this now as a Poisson. Poisson um, x equals time, not time, but number of customers who order in one minute. Okay, so um, the time between orders is exponential with a mean of three minutes. So number of customers who order 
in one minute would be um, the mean here is time between orders is three minutes. So number of customers whose order who order in one minute would be um, third of customer per minute. Okay. I don't know, that's kind of bothering me. That's the uh, expected number. It's the number of customers per minute, third customer per minute. Time between orders, mean is three minutes. So let me think about this. If um, time between orders is mean, so there's, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So that means uh, one customer one customer orders every three minutes. So that means there's only a, a third of a customer ordering per minute. Okay, I know that sounds a little bit strange, but I need to figure out what the parameter is for the Poisson. So then the Poisson, P of X, it's a density function, it's a mass function, it's discrete. Um, X is the number of customers who order in one minute. We expect a third of customers, so this would be one third raised to the X times EXP to the negative one third divided by X factorial. And this is valid for X is from 0, 1, 2, 2, infinity. Okay, so now I can look at the problem either way. Um, Part A, I can do it as a exponential or I can do it as a Poisson. So let's just do part A. Let's bring up, um, let's bring up, uh, there we go. So what's the probability that no customer orders pizza during the next five minutes? So time between orders, that would mean the time between orders is more than five minutes. So um, let's find probability T is greater than 5. So I'm working with the exponential. I would integrate because it's continuous. So we integrate um, the exponential. 1 third times exp negative t divided by 3. t equal, sorry, t equals 5 to infinity. And we're going to get something with an e, right? I should have done eval f or something. Um, eval f. Point one one point one eight nine. Okay, so this is equivalent to asking um, no customers in five minutes. So the number of customers who order in one minute is a third of a customer. If we let y equal number of customers who order in five minutes, um, we expect five-thirds of a customer per five minutes. Okay, so what's the probability? So down here we're trying to find probability that x, sorry, y equals zero, where y is Poisson, where we expect five-thirds of a customer per five minutes. So now I'm going to sum you see this is uh, Poisson with parameter 5 thirds, 5 thirds the x times the xp to negative 5 thirds divided by, um, I probably should have sta stayed in y, sorry about that, or y factorial, y equals 0 to 0, no customers in 5 minutes. And we get the same thing, I don't know why I'm evaluating it again, we get the same value. Um, so I hope that makes sense. For Poissons and exponentials, there's this nice property where you can go back and forth and rewrite it either way. I think there's a homework problem in 6 where I think I gave it to you as an exponential, and I, I don't know, I, I had to convert it back to Poisson to think about it. So sometimes one way or the other seems more clear to me. It kind of depends on the problem. Part B, what's the probability the next pizza order is placed in at least 2 minutes but no later than 6 minutes? Um, I think this is easiest as an as a exponential. Probability of the time is between um, 
two and six minutes. So going back up here, integrate um, f of t, one third times exp negative t divided by three from t equals two to six. What's the probability of the time between the next orders between two and six minutes? Again, I didn't think about that, so about 38%. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, I mean, I, I don't. I hope the membraneless idea is coming through. Um, you could say, what's the probability that that a customer? Let, let me see that um, the wait time is more than ten minutes, given it's already been more than three minutes. This is just the probability of finding the time is more than seven minutes because the exponential doesn't remember that you've already been waiting three minutes. It's really just asking, I know I've been waiting three minutes, what's the probability it's going to take more than ten? That's really just an additional seven minutes. So that's what the memory is. It, it's as if you're starting fresh because it doesn't know you've waited there already three minutes. Um, so that's what I mean by the, the memory list property. And uh, if, if you need another example on this, please let me know and I'll I'll do some others because that connection between the exponential and Poisson is a little bit tough.